Clutch, you probably as much as anybody rely on physicality as part of your game. How in the spring, and obviously it's a lot going on with this new offense, but how in the spring can you really hone in to elevate your game and improve the areas that you want to focus on? Um, I think uh, physically I'm being pushed right now. Uh, Tom Cable, uh, he's doing a really good job of straining our brains, as they like to say. Uh, <clears throat> so with like all the new code words and things constantly changing, I think mentally is where my game's going to improve the most. How have been so far just this new offense? Uh, it's been great. I feel like we have a lot of versatility. Uh, defense can't cheat as much because we, uh, we change things up with code words and, and different things like that. So I feel pretty good uh, with the way things are going. What have been your impressions of the two rookie tackles? I'm really impressed. Uh, phenomenal. Actually, today, Brandon stood up for himself, so that was really cool to see. Um, you always want to see that. You know, you worry about a guy's toughness. So um, he's a tough kid. He's been playing well. He's really intelligent. Uh, really smart. Colton as well is very intelligent. Uh, very minimal MAs, also tough. I've been kind of trying to toughen him, toughen him up a little bit in drills, and he's pretty solid. So I think we uh, we got we got we got some here, man. We got some guys. He was good. talking about how K Ball is a great teacher. What, how how have you seen that, and what, what what makes him so good at teaching you guys? Um, yeah, he's just like. Uh, like you said, he's a, he's a good teacher. He's just good at knowing different people, like their personalities and kind of how to get to them. Like, you know, does a guy have a big ego? How can I like mess with him a little bit and then get him to pay attention to what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, uh, he just understands people. He's been doing it for so long. He understands like people's personality and their psychology or whatever. And, uh, you know, he gets under there, he gets underneath that. And, you know, he also cares about your development off the field as well. And, uh, you know, you respect a guy like that. So when you have a guy like that that's teaching you, um, that's only going to help your growth and development on and off the field. You guys have a new scheme and some new coaches, but, but that interior line has a lot of continuity, you and Gabe and Rodney. For, does that help you during times of transition, given that you guys know each other so well and have operated so well? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it's like anything uh, job-related, right? It's, uh, it's a team, and, uh, you know, it's all about accountability. So when you have guys that you can trust next to you, um, it just makes it that much better, you know, um, especially guys that you're friends with and, and guys that you uh, hang out with off the field and everything like that. It all ties together, you know, the whole teammate aspect of it. So uh, just having three guys – <clears throat> that you've been playing with for a while uh, as far as like chemistry and as far as like uh, elevating and, and getting to that next level of play and having another year together, that's always good. So I feel, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Your impression's been a PJ and Mo so far? Uh, <clears throat> Mo's looking real good, man. Uh, I'm really impressed with Mo. Definitely got a steal with him. Uh, he's looking real good. He's going to be uh, good if he just keeps going. Sky's the limit for that guy. Uh, <clears throat> PJ's been looking good as well. Um, a good player uh you know some things to work on uh with both of those guys because they're so young they're you know still a little raw but um definitely uh talented Gruden talks about how car is really taking command of the offense obviously what you want on your quarterback but have you seen any adjustments or anything from your perspective that's been different from years in the past um i feel like he's more confident in his checks when he's uh, reading coverages uh when safeties roll down like that i just can kind of feel it uh when he's making certain calls. So, uh, and then I can feel it too, like I can see it. So it's like kind of like a communication thing. His communication is just a lot better when he sees like safeties rolling down and things like that when there's like a blitz coming off the edge and stuff like that. So I think that's something that I would say <clears throat> that's that's been better uh, so far. I mean, we're still uh, getting into it. It's still early, so there's still improvements to be made. But right now, I'm really happy with uh, with the way things are looking. Were you guys talking about the previous plays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about a play where there was a guy, it was like a cross blitz coming in the middle with the linebackers, and he was kind of like uh, talking about he wasn't sure if we saw it, you know, like communicating on, you know, body language, guys leaning forward and stuff like that. Because, you know, we have to like, on that particular play, we had to scat. So we had to like be alert on the blitz uh, in the A gap. So he was just making sure that we saw that. Um, which we did, so we're just like communicating. He was just like, you know, confidence and reassurance because it's a new system, right? You know, and he's a quarterback. He wants to be protected, make sure he's good. So was, that's all we were talking about. He's had a reputation for a long time as being, you know, um, offensive guy, quarterbacks, passing game. But I mean, you know, the first time he was here, 
team led the league in rushing one of the years, and he was pretty adamant of, and about a stickler for being very tough and physical and being able to run the ball. And he, something that you've picked up right away from him? Oh, for sure. That's one of the first thing he, things he said coming up to me and Gabe was just like, I was so excited to come here to work with you guys because I love the way you guys run the ball, and we're going to keep running the ball, and we're going to make sure that we do that. So, um, you know, that obviously makes you feel good, makes you feel like you're a part of it. Um, I think that's going to be a big part of our game. I don't think we're going to be one-dimensional. We have all these checks and these different things and audibles for the receivers and stuff like that. But um, I don't think we're going to get away from the physicality whatsoever. Anything about Bruton surprise you? No, nah, he was everything I thought he would be. You know, just a high-intensity guy, um, excitement, the kind of the spark we needed. So it's been good. What have you picked up? And you have Mike Tyson, obviously, the first couple of years, and now you have Cable. What have you picked up uh, from both of them and the differences along the way? Um, I would say that <clears throat> with Cable, it's definitely one of those things where it's a, a challenge and a strange mentally. You know, he kind of wants to try and, yeah, as he would say, you know, like kind of mess with you a little bit, um, you know, kind of see if he can catch you uh, with some trick questions and stuff like that and make sure you're actually studying and stuff like that. And uh, with Tyson, it was just kind of, you know, straightforward, um, you know, coaching guys, maybe a little bit of baby in here and there, but. Um, just like tough coaching with Cable, so that's been good. As teammates, you guys respect the business side of the sports and certainly don't want to talk about another teammate's business. That being said, how different is it out there without Khalil? Oh, man, I haven't honestly, uh, I haven't even been thinking about that at all. I mean, we have so much going on right now. It's a new system. Uh, we're worried about our development right now. I'm sure he's doing whatever he needs to do to be ready uh, when he comes back, but uh, right now, it's just kind of one of those things where it's next man up at this point until he gets back. You know, he's a great player. Um, you know, my opinion, yes, of course, I think uh, we need to do whatever we can to get him back. He's just, you know, a phenomenal guy. You don't come across talent like that. But uh, we haven't really even been uh, letting that really affect our preparation day in and day out.